Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Starlord and today I'm gonna be going through my top 5 creatures from Fallout 4's DLC that I would love to see in the next game from the Fallout franchise. Now, of course, these creatures will come from the Far Harbor DLC and the Nuka World DLC, as you know, they added in most of the new creatures that we see in the Wasteland today. And I've got to admit, they were pretty awesome. Some of these designs were really hard to choose from, uh, such as, you know, the Gulper. That never really made it into my top five. But again, that is a creature that I would love to see somewhere again in the future. But yeah, let's get into my official top five creatures from Fallout 4's DLC. Okay, and kicking it off with my first creature I would love to see in the next Fallout game is one that actually may surprise quite a lot of you. That is the de-evolved Radstag. Now, there is a clear difference from this Radstag to the ones in the normal base game. You know, this one, if you look at it, it has those magnificent fucking teeth just piercing out of its mouth, down its jaw, and they are just insanely huge for a herbivore. You know, you don't really see things that, uh, you know, just kind of munch on grass looking like that. You know, it genuinely has a scary look about it. And I remember when I first actually saw that creature, I was live streaming and I just kind of stopped. I was like, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? And next minute, it just charged at me. I shit myself on stream, on camera. And um, there was just that kind of excitement that, you know, a herbivore actually chases after you and tries to kill you in the game. I mean, you don't really get to see that much in this game. Well, kinda, you know, you don't really get to see it that much, especially from animals like this, you know, those uh, pre-war kind of peaceful animals, I guess. Uh, but yeah, honestly, the whole look and design of this character, this animal, is absolutely insane. I would definitely say this is definitely one of Bethesda's more better designs and choices for the game. Now the reason I did choose this is because it is actually plausible for it to pop up again somewhere in the Fallout universe. You know, it wasn't created in a lab or anything, it's just kind of a de-evolved and I don't really know the reason why it never evolved like all the other Radstags, I guess, I don't know, just the evolution of Radstags, I guess. But yes, that is definitely a creature I would love to see again in the Fallout universe. Anyway guys, let's move on to creature number two. And that creature is the wolf, and to be honest, looking at the wolf right now, it doesn't actually look that great, but if we go and switch it over to a pack of glowing wolves, damn, that looks damn right impressive. I mean, look at the design of this creature. I mean, it just looks so menacing, and that green glow is absolutely amazing. I remember when I first saw one of these guys, it was pretty much pitch black in Far Harbor and all I could see was that glowing aspect of the actual wolf and I was like holy shit something's about to go down and um, then next minute I saw that like there was a pack of them not not all glowing but there was a pack of wolves with that wolf and it was kind of like the alpha male I guess and there is a really likable aspect about animals traveling in packs to try and kill you. If I'm honest, I really didn't see enough of that. I would love to see in the next Fallout game more animals traveling in packs to hunt down their prey to actually get a decent uh, day's food, I guess. And the wolves are pretty much a prime example of that. And for that, I love these creatures. The fact that they were so hard to take down because there was like four of them, five of them sometimes. And yeah, they're just very vicious. They go all in, attack you. And they even have that AI capability where they do surround you. You know, there is definitely always a wolf on each side of you. So you have to hit one on the left, turn around to the guy at the right because he's kicking your ass. Then there's one chewing on your leg. You have to hit him with the fucking axe. You know, it's crazy. And I love that aspect to the game. And I would definitely love to see more of that in the next Fallout game, especially with wolves. Okay, so let's move on to creature number three. The Gator Claw. Now, this first appeared in Nuka World when we saw the trailer, and I was just mind blown. I was like, holy shit, that thing looks insane. Fucking Death Claws no more. Move the fuck aside. Gator Claws are my new favorite creature in the wasteland. And honestly, there is a slight lore problem 
with these creatures. Now, I don't know if any of you guys know, but the Gator Claws are actually made in Nuka World. You know, they're genetically modified from a uh, Death Claw and Crocodile, or Alligator, I guess, um, kind of DNA. And they were made inside Nuka World. Now, there was actually a similar creature that popped up in Fallout Tactics 2, which was a mutant crocodile. Now, the mutant crocodiles, you couldn't really see the graphics and effects of them like you can in these type of games, but I can imagine if they remastered the mutant crocodiles, they would sort of look something like the Gator Claw, you know? So I guess it's safe to assume that they're kind of the same kind of animal, you know, I mean, they're not, technically, but, you know, the looks-wise, they pretty much are. Either way, Gator Claws are definitely menacing in this DLC, they're absolutely lethal, whenever I come up against one, I need to switch over to a, like, close quarters combat weapon, like a shotgun, and it better be fucking unlimited bullets, you know, it better be never-ending, because I get my ass whooped with these guys on my survival build, and, yeah, they're pretty darn awesome, to be honest. I love going up against them, but they're pretty fucking hard, I've got to admit. Uh, but either way, I would love to see either the Gator Claws in some magnificent way pop up again sometime, or either the Mutant Crocodiles if there is a kind of Fallout game set where there is swamps, such as New Orleans. Um, but yeah, I would definitely love to see these type of creatures returning again. So let's move on to creature number four, guys. Now this next creature, there isn't really much to say about these, other than they're fucking fast and they're fucking terrifying to go up against, and that is the Bloodworms, and although they didn't really, like, have a much variation from their physical appearance, you cannot doubt that these guys, when they jump out of the ground at you, they're absolutely insane, I absolutely love them, and I would love to definitely see these again pop up somewhere in the next kind of fallout, I mean, it wouldn't really break the lore, you know, as long as they're in a kind of desert area, I guess, um, I would just love to see them pop up, and maybe be a tiny bit stronger, other than that, maybe in a pack, full of like seven of them popping out at you because they really did explode quite easy and that was kind of something that really put me off about these creatures in general but other than that the design choice is absolutely beautiful they look absolutely scary and they look like they just belong in the fallout universe as a standalone character popping up nearly every generation uh, so yeah definitely in the desert areas i would love to see these guys return and the last but not least creature in my top 5 may actually surprise quite a lot of you, and that is the Angler. Yeah, the Angler. Now, honestly, this has to be my favorite design of character or enemy, I guess, or creature in the Fallout universe. I think it is so unique, and the fact that they chose it to have that like, little lore on the top of its head, you know, the actual little bead in which they poke out of the water, and you think it's, you know, some kind of resource, you go over to it, and next minute, it jumps out at you. I actually jumped on stream one time when I was playing the Far Harbor DLC, and I did, I, I really did shit myself because I didn't expect it. And these creatures are so unique, and unfortunately, they only really appear in Swampland, and I don't know, I guess that wouldn't work for everywhere, but again, if they did a Fallout New Orleans game, this creature must, must, please, God Howard, pop up again in that DLC, because it is without a doubt my favorite fucking character. I mean, just look at the concept art on screen right now, look at that. Look how built that shit is. That is absolutely insane. That is huge. It is so fucking scary. And honestly, definitely, definitely, I would love, love to have seen some kind of taming kind of DLC in which you could actually get it as a pet or something like that. I actually created a, a, I think it was a mod for the Xbox One, in which it replaces one of the characters as your companion. And I made it so tiny and it was so cute. But it did not kick ass, it like kicked everyone's ass. And yeah, definitely one of my favorite characters. I, I think, if anything, my favorite character, if I'm honest. Uh, but I would definitely love to see the angler pop up again in a future Fallout game. Anyway guys, that is pretty much being it for my top 5 creatures I would like to see again in the next Fallout. And no, if you agree with my list, then please tell me below. And if you don't, then again, that is your opinion, please tell me below, I'd like to see what, like, five creatures you guys would actually like to see return again. <laughs> but anyway guys, as always, I hope you have an awesome day, an awesome week, and until next time, I've been Star Lord.
Oh, see ya.